mabuhay or in Kapampangan, luwid kayo. Today's question comes from where the water flows. Patrick from Agusan del Sur, Philippines asks, can you tell us about the first Philippine Republic? The first Philippine Republic was a republic, a short-lived republic that was established in, well, the Philippines following the Filipino Declaration of Independence back in 1898. So after many years of fighting for their freedom, the Filipino Revolution was successful, was victorious in liberating their people from 300 years of Spanish rule. And as mentioned in my previous videos, they had declared independence on June 12, 1898. And by August, the Filipinos had effectively controlled most of their country. General Emilio Aguinaldo ruled as the country's first president. And he ruled by decree, basically a dictatorship until a democratic constitution was put in place. So between June and September of 1898, elections were held for the seats in the Revolutionary Congress, aka the country's first national legislature. And on September 15, 1898, this Revolutionary Congress, representing the different provinces of the Philippines, met in Malolos, Bulacan. And first on their agenda was to write a democratic constitution for the independent Philippines. By September 29th, the Malolos Congress ratified Philippine independence, reaffirming the proclamation that was made back in June. And by January of 1899, the Congress ratified and put in place a new constitution. This constitution, also known as the Malolos Constitution, or more accurately as La Constitución Política de 1899, became the basic law of an independent Philippines. It established a democratic republic, placing the sovereignty back to the Filipino people. It guaranteed the civil liberties of the people. It guaranteed the separation of church and state and the protection of what we would now call civil and human rights against the abuses of those in power. The First Republic was inaugurated with much celebration and fanfare. After all, it is considered to be the first constitutional republic in Asia. However, just a month earlier, back in December 10th of 1898, Spain formally sold the Philippines to the United States following the Spanish-American War. The Americans, who were once the allies of the Filipino people in their fight for their independence, was by now the enemies, the invaders threatening to take away their freedom. By February of 1899, the Philippine-American War would erupt between the First Philippine Republic against the United States. The war would prove to be a prolonged agony for the people of the Philippines, the ghost of which still haunts the Republic to this day. It was a bloody war that resulted in a violent occupation of the Philippines and what we would now consider as a merciless genocide of its people. Formally, the First Philippine Republic ended when Aguinaldo was captured at the end of 1901. By 1902, the United States would officially declare an end to the Philippine-American War or what they would actually call the Filipino Insurrection. However, the fight against U.S. imperialism would continue on for at least another decade. And if you think about it, in many ways, this struggle continues to this day. The first Philippine Republic may have only lasted for only two years, but its legacy has proven to the world that the people of what is now the Philippines have always been capable of self-determination and have always been fit for self-rule. It was an evidence of their triumphant victory against three centuries of colonialism, and it shows their determination to fend off foreign domination. Although it was not perfect, I mean, let's be honest, no republic has ever been perfect. The first Philippine Republic had many of the fundamental elements of a modern day nation states and present day democracies. It had a strong executive branch, a congress to balance it out, an independent judiciary, its own army, and most of all, it guaranteed the protection of the rights of its people. Its constitution was a testament to the aspirations and the capabilities of the Filipino people for democracy, liberty, and justice. A beautiful reminder that our people are capable of our own greatness, as opposed to being seen as savages and uncivilized by both Spain and the United States. In fact, along with the Filipino Revolution, the first Philippine Republic was a beacon of hope for many colonized and occupied people in Asia. It was an inspiration for many in the region to fight for their freedom and establish their own modern and democratic societies. I could talk about this for days, but that is it for me today. And if you got questions that you think I have the knowledge or the wisdom to answer, feel free to ask me. Feel free to ask Kirby. See you next time. Or in Tagalog, kita kits and in Kamampangan, mikitiks.